This video right here has been requested for what feels like going on years, but we finally arrived. Roll it. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Channel's name is The Third Ernest. I'm Ernest Adiano The Third. Y'all guys, third family. If you're new here and you're not subscribed and you like what you see at the end of the video, consider clicking on the subscribe button bottom right hand corner along with the notification bell. But like I said, yo, this video right here, ever since I did some token and I first did a couple of tracks by him, everybody was telling me that there's two tracks specifically by, or three that, that are always requested by, by people and I just don't have the time to get around to them just yet. But Code Red is the first one. Second one is gonna be YouTube rapper and then third one is this video right here so I am hyped to get to it everybody says he goes hard obviously over 50 cent beats as you can see and I if I know anything about 50 cent beats especially old 50 cent from his first two albums fire stupid good production on 50 cents on 50 cents albums so I'm, I'm hyped there's really not too much to say because I've been wanting to get into this for some time so follow your boy on Instagram and on Twitter at the third earnest just like the channel the links are down in the description below and we got token on sway in the morning over 50 cent beats let's get it <laughs> my man talking no matter what he look like one of the things i like about him have the be is he always come prepared Thanks. he always comes equipped True. he always ready to spit these bars oh and we in the land of the hyenas we got an original hyena amongst us hyena! 2019 not everybody get to rap on this show you gotta earn your keep we trying to raise the bar this year mm. lyrics only Sway in the morning, shade four five. DJ one to drop that beat on him. Token, it's back. Sway in the morning, turn that up. Can you turn, turn that, that beat up. 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 G unit, what we a hit? What we gonna get the drama popper? We don't care. It's going down. When I'm around, fifty cent. You know how I get down. To be honest, I thought this was a while back. It's a year old or going on two years old at this point. But still, I thought this was like from 2017 for some reason. Sway in the morning, shade four five. DJ one to drop that beat on him. Token, it's back. Sway okay. in the morning. Turn that up. Can you turn, turn that, that beat up. up. Okay. Sway, fifty. Let's go. Let's go. Ha! I got rap in my blood. Ten years I've been harvesting this. So much Wayne and Jay, I got Carters in my cartilages. Ooh. It's the wit, I'm harder than this shit that start off the clip. The wit I spit is sharper than the shit my barber will grip. I think Ooh. it's him. The way I spit is sharper than the shit that my barber will grip. Like scissors, sharper than scissors. But yo, the way he said cartilages instead of cartilage to make the scheme fit. Fire. The wit I speak is sharper than the shit my barber will grip. I think it's him. Don't argue with him. He's starving again. When he left Sway, them labels wanted to partner with him. Ooh. Called him the new Eminem. I told the market my dick. I'm not another white rapper. They try to pin Marshall against. Hey, I'm not another white rapper. They try to pin Marshall against. Like yo, it's fire because I mean, the, obviously the the one that comes to mind is NF, and everybody always tries to compare NF to Eminem. They always try to pin the two against each other, like he said. So he's like, fuck the labels, fuck everybody that wants to call me the next Eminem. I'm more than just a white rapper. I'm more than just a prodigy of Eminem. Eminem might have had some influence over the way I spit, but it's not just him, everybody else. Everybody wanted to come and partner with the kid after Sway in the morning. That's the type of influence this show has. Try to pin Marshall against I've been in charge of this. I never followed a guardian. I got arrested in middle school. but I was playing with Lego still. Used to be going in cars and shit. Then I got Honda sponsorship. I've been a fire spark and sick. Art so articulate. The Arctic is slit. It's marvelous. Teachers had them art. Art so articulate. The art. What did he say? It's lit? Ooh. The Arctic. A smile so articulate. The Arctic is lit, bro. Like he's so cold with the flow, but it's so hot. And how old was he right here? Like what did, what did he have to be? What is he now? Like 19, 20? So that means that he would have had to have been like 17, 18? Yeah, that's a lot of pressure going to sway in the morning at that age. The fire spark and sick. Art so articulate. The Arctic is lit. It's marvelous. Teachers had them arguments. Used to be on a tardy list. Now I'm on a different list. Charts, I think. Sway, it's a blessing. Yeah, I'm just... Used to be on the target list, but now I'm on a different list. The charts, I think. Duh. Used to be on a target list. Now I'm on a different list. Charts, I think. Sway, it's a blessing. Yeah. I'm just happy I was led and I got a notepad in my backpack. Each page like a dangerous weapon. I Ooh. hold it like I'm aiming a Wesson. Then they Ooh. raise their arms like they know the answer to the most complicated question. I'm way too afraid. They raise their arms like they know the answer to the most complicated question, bro, dog. And then he said, and he said, by the pen is, um, what do you say? Every page in my in my rhyme in my rhyme pad is a weapon. And he said, it's like I'm raising the Weston. For those that don't know, Smith & Weston, the firearm company. So 
So he said raising arms up, like literally like high praise, but raising arms like firearms, Smith & Wesson. Fire. To the most complicated question, I'm way too impressive. Fucking way too impressive. Uh -huh. It's so obvious it even sounds strange when I said it. Ooh. You ain't so receptive, just take a break, stop paying attention to Sway's facial expression. He spread the same exact message. Way too impressive. <laughs> Fucking way too impressive. Where I came in this game, I should be cased and arrested for breaking and entering. Bars in this game without raising a question like Kramer, I guess it's ironic. I made a lane like I'm Venice. Way too impressive. Ah, like Kramer, I made a lane. Like, uh, like I made a lane in this rap game for myself like I'm Venice. Like Elaine Venice, the, the character as played by Julia Louise Dreyfus on Seinfeld. Like Kramer, Elaine Bennis, fire. And he said the way I came in this game, I should be caged, like I should be locked up for breaking and entering because I forced myself into this bitch, fire. And he said, if you ain't so receptive to my music, then just take a break from that hate. Like, like stop hating, look with objective eyes and look at Sway's face as I'm spinning this shit because that shit is fire and he knows. And Sway is an icon in hip hop. Bark in this game without raising a question like Kramer, I guess it's ironic. I made a lane like I'm Bennis. Way too impressive, but this ain't no silver spoon. Mama used to vacuum maggots out the holes up in her room. What it do? What's the word then? I rap like I'm trying to buy my mama brand new crib before this fucking verse ends. Oh. Severe type of person. I rap like I'm trying to buy my mama a crib before this fucking verse ends. Like every single bar, every single verse I ever spit, and I'm, I'm rapping like that shit is my like my entire livelihood depends on it. Cause it does. And this ain't no silver spoon fed. I might be a white boy, but I got it out the mud just like everybody else. Persevere type of person. I don't persecute if the person's cute. Now that's her personal purse then. <laughs> Getting a flown if I'm headed home. What a wake up, fuck your brain up. Methadone on a metronome. What a change up, fuck a pay cut. Have a loaf, got a heavy bolt. Money on me is the best cologne. And I smell alone like a pheromone. Getting dough with the check is old. Have Money on me is the best cologne, man. The swear, the, the smell alone is like a pheromone, dog. Like that, that attracts females. That's what a pheromone is, but. The, like the smell of money. I don't even gotta be good looking because the bitches are gonna come because I got the money. True as fuck. Money got me is the best cologne and I smell alone like a pheromone. Getting dough with the check is old to have an episode like I'm 10 years old. Token, but I'm better known as the blueprint to my many clones. Got your bitch up on my ear mm. like a telephone. City want me near, but I'm never home. Baby, my career like a cemetery. Whole thing set in stone. God damn. <laughs> Let me. <laughs> my whole career is like a cemetery bitch the whole thing is set in stone like it's cemented in time like my 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 mark that i'm gonna leave on the rap game is set in stone but like a headstone in the cemetery dog fire he said my name is token but i'm better known to the blueprint of my many clones dog catch a bitch up in my ear like a telephone like she's with like she's talking to me she's wanting me here but i'm never home because i'm always on the road too busy working i ain't got time for these bitches yo here like a cemetery whole thing set in stone god damn <laughs> let me talk a little <laughs> shit mama knew i'd be a genius when i was a little shit real <laughs> shit kill shit Hey, he said, let me talk a little shit. Mama knew that I would that, like I would blow up when I was just a little shit. Like I was just a little badass kid that did that. That was just a rebel. But we knew that we had some talent in me. It's a little shit, real <laughs> shit, kill shit. Vacate the map. Uh, Mayday. I get my day made. If that little bitch want to play games, I don't got a gang gang. I got a bodyguard who get payday to scrap. Take Ooh, your bang, make a I got a bodyguard who get payday to scrap, dog. Like literally he's got a bodyguard that he pays money a salary to to make sure that to scrap with anybody who wants beef. Crazy. I can't I can't and I forgot what beat this is by 50 this one right here. I know it's off of uh, I know it's off good good get rich or die trying. I just can't I just, I got to look it up. It's going to bother me if I don't know. Yo, I can't find it. I, I know the beat. I know, like, I have the, like, lyrics right there, but I can't figure it out. I got a bodyguard who get payday to scrap. Take your bae, make a safe snowy bae. That's a 6 9 fucking Treyway is back. Better songs, but I maintain the raps. Seeing them change, you got a better chance. Seeing Sway change his hat. Nice. I see him back. Cause Sway always wears that fucking hat. And I figured it out, dog. That's why I paused it. It's Life on the Line. That's the name of the track that this is by 50 Cent. If I finally clicked, it finally clicked for me. Safe snowy. That's a 6 9 fucking Treyway is back. Better songs, but I maintain the raps. Seeing them change, you got. Oh, he said Sacy Nueve, like 6 9, like 69, and then Treyway, obviously, which is 6 9. Seeing them change, you got a better chance. Seeing Sway change his hat. No way. In the hood, they be like, damn, 50 really spit it on him. You heard that shit? Yeah, 50 really shit it on him. I was never young, I'm mad old. 
I became a man when I realized my dad's broke mm. Used to <gasps> look up to rappers and now they plateaued So I don't got no one to look up to except Toke Daddy's still on my Damn, money I, I, I used to look up to rappers but now I got I don't look up to no one except Toke except for myself and I had I was never young I had to grow up and I've been always old ever since I realized that daddy was broke dog like like you had to grow up quick when you're from the hood or you're from the poor because you, you don't have that you don't have that luxury you don't have that luxury of having that financial security so I don't got no one to look up to except Toke Daddy's still on my money, they can't be that close So family reunions only happen at my shows Backstage hey. the only holiday we have So this shit is bigger than post lines and fast flows <laughs> But I <laughs> Yo, he done said backstage at my shows are the only holidays that we have because the family has been broken. So this shit here is more than punchlines and fast flows, dog. Which is like one of the things that that is one of my criticisms actually of most YouTube rappers is that all that they have are punchlines and fast flows. They can they like it's just it's very gimmicky. So here he is basically saying, yo, this shit is more than just a gimmick right here. This shit is my life or death, dog. That's fire. This shit is bigger than post lines and fast flow. Uh, but I think it's easy peasy. I fight like I need a treat, and I fight like I need a treaty. Choose a like any meanie. I think you might need my city. Bitches rubbing on the glass like they're trying to reach a genie. Uh, <laughs> I, I, <laughs> Bitches rubbing on the glass like they're trying to reach a genie, like you rub on the side of a fucking. What is it called that a genie comes out of? I know it's obviously genie in a bottle, but what's that thing called? And he said, I fight like I need a treaty, like literally like a wartime treaty to end the fighting, just to, to bring peace, dog. It's crazy. And then he said, I choose them like any mini, like any mini, miny, mo. Bitches rubbing on the glass like they're trying to reach a genie. Uh, I never would keep it PG. I keep it so dirty, dirty. I might as well feed the needy. I give them ah. heebie jeebies. They won't like this rap. Spit at this mic so long, it might spit back. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Sweaty's. Spit at this mic so long it might spit back, dog. He said, I don't keep it PG. I keep it so dirty, dirty. Like I'm trying to feed the needy. Like the needy are fo like they're poor and they're dirty. They don't bait, you know, like crazy bar. This mic so long it might spit back. Ah! Sweet, these mics are frail as shit. The type of flame I spit will likely break the tight frame of it. The mic will split and I ain't gonna pay for it. So you gonna feel some type of way and shit. Next time I come, modernize the place a bit, huh? I raise the bar like the shit is my son. Oh, hey, dog. He said, I raise the bar like the shit is my son. Like you raise a child, I raise the bar. And he's just like, the fact that he was like going in saying he's going so hard and then and talking shit about the studio shit next time i come modernize the place a bit huh ah. i raise the bar like the shit is my son ah. i hold it up and tell you midgets jump they used to say i was a gimmick i admit it i was but now they mimic shit i give you gimmicks a buzz fuck punchline Ooh. rap i ain't a punchline act y'all use it as a crutch ain't no punchline in that mm -mm. homie this god damn dog he's going off son they used to say I was a gimmick and I'll admit it I was until I until now now all the gimmicks look up to me and fuck a punchline rap. Cause that shit is corny, dog. It's I mean it's not corny, but it's just like, yo, anybody can write a punchline as long as you have like a clever thought concept. Doesn't take a whole lot of skill to write like just a bunch of punchlines, you know, together. That's it's fire and it's dope because he doesn't really have too many punchlines in what he's saying right he has some but but a lot of it is just real shit that he's talking but now they mimic shit i give you gimmicks a buzz fuck punchline rap i ain't a punchline act y'all use it as a crutch ain't no punchline in that mm -hmm. homie there's a difference between my shit and that Listen to my project and then rewrite your raps, then recite my tracks. Listen to all of my shit to try to get better, and if you get better, potentially we might collab. Be like the scab. Rip all of my shit off the internet, buddy, because I think it's the only way that we like your tracks, huh? Uh, rip all my shit off the internet, but that's the only way that we like your tracks is by you spitting my shit, dog. Yo, and he said, get your pen up, listen to my shit, recite it, and then we might collab. Like right now, you ain't on my level. Yo. Potentially we might collab. Be like the scab. Rip all of my shit off the internet, buddy, because I think it's the only way that we like your tracks, huh? Hey, I just I just heard he said beat like a scab, we rip all the shit off of the internet. Fire. Like like you rip off a scab. Like the scab. Rip all of my shit off the internet, buddy, because I think it's the only way that we like your tracks, huh? How they talking shit to me like I wasn't 12 doing ciphers out in Boston in the streets? Making 30 year olds look bad when comparing it. They put age restriction just to avoid embarrassment. <gasps> Man, <laughs> they put age restrictions just to avoid embarrassment because he was so young that they just shitting on all these rappers at 13, 14 years old. Duh. Comparing it, they put age restriction just to avoid embarrassment. Uh. Uh. 
Manic and arrogant parents aware of it Ran into therapists They tried Damn. to make me stable But Angel is nowhere in my narrative This man's sin like Marilyn Damn it, the champion Ooh. is arrogant Hilarious Close Dog, this man's sin like, like Marilyn like, like, they try to stable me by putting me through therapy and I just ran through them. They try to get me to be a little more peaceful, try to make me be angelic, but that's not in my narrative, dog. Because this man sin, I'm not an angel, I'm a sinner. This man sin, like Manson, dog. Crazy. My narrative, this man sin like Marilyn. Damn it, the champion is arrogant, hilarious. Close as y'all get to being there with it and sharing it. His parent with Samaritans who stare at it or there to lift the carriages who carry in my chariot or there for just repairing it. Sway, <laughs> last time I made your co host cry, I gave her a tissue and hugged her goodbye. This time, I'm ripping tissues and ripping arteries out of any rapper who tried to do it like I. Why? Cause I've been assertive with the moves. God damn, dog. That beat right there. This one right here? Shit is fire, wankster. Yo. But see, like, he's not really, he's not really talking that, he's talking his shit, but he's not doing it too crazy through, like, similes or metaphors. Like, he's just coming straight at these motherfuckers. There's not even really anything to break down. He's just saying what he's, he's talking his shit. He's basically saying, like, I'm the king. I'm the god of this shit. Y'all are just the ones that are pulling my chariot or you're there repairing it. Like, we collab, but not really, because really you're just helping You're just helping me get to my destination. You you ain't going to that destination with me. And he said, last time I made your co-host cry, I gave her tissues and wave her goodbye. But this time I'm, where, I'm ripping tissues and arteries for anybody that tries to come after I. Like, literally, like, like, like tissue that you blow your nose, nose with, but like muscle tissue. Duh. Who tried to do it like I? Why? Cause I've been assertive with the moves. Ooh. Listen, nurse, I better bring a charge. I'm like a minister up in the booth. Uh, introverted, but a different person. When your chickens turn into my coop. Uh, got a couple people doing what I wish. I'm Timmy Turner with the crew. Timmy Turner with the crew. Mr. Yo, I got a pe couple people doing what I wish. I'm Timmy Turner with the crew, dog. Like Timmy Turner from Fairly Odd Parents that would wish it with his odd parents. So I got a couple people. Dog, that was fire. Got a couple people doing what I wish. I'm Timmy Turner with the crew. Timmy Ooh. Turner with the crew. Mr. Burns with the loot. Larry Burrow when I shoot. I'm a colonel. When I pop, I'm a colonel, I recruit different work. Duh, I had to pause it again because he said, like, all these different characters are cartoons. He said he's Timmy Turner, said he's Mr. Burns with the loot, like, literally, Mr. Burns, who has, has, has a lot of money, he's rich in The Simpsons. He said, Larry Bird, when I shoot, dog. He said, I'm a colonel when I pop off, like, literally, like a, like a, like a colonel of corn that turns into popcorn, but also I'm a colonel I recruit, like a military colonel who recruits people into the army. Yo. I'm a colonel when I pop, I'm a colonel I recruit, different workers to the crew. You, little person with a view, looking up to me, sure. Wife's a bitch on tour, live and learn, yes I do. Hit the curb, I gotta zoom, kill a murder when I do. With the first, a ragged tomb, in the dirt, you gotta move, like I'm flirting with death, bitches flirting with me too. And it how when I flex, it's a front. Like I'm flirting with death, bitches flirting with me too. Fire. In the dirt, you gotta move like I'm flirting with death. Bitches flirting with me too. And it how when I flex, it's a furnace when I do. Think I'm burning with it too. If I die right now, I'm giving birth to all the youth. Tell them follow their truth. Ooh. Tell them do it. If I die right now, I'm giving birth to all the youth, bro. Like, like he's dying. He is dying so that way the phoenix, which is the youth, can rise from the ashes, dog. He said, ain't it hot when I flex? It's a furnace when I do. Like, literally like a heater furnace. If I die right now, I'm giving birth to all the youth. Tell them follow their truth. Ooh. Tell them do what they love. Right. If they want to be a rapper, mm -hmm. fuck them off, they judge. But Woo. if you see me walking down the street and you just decide to walk up to me and you rap to me and you suck, I'ma tell you what's up. Uh, <laughs> hard work pays off, I'm living. Hey, sometimes you gotta tell them the cold hard truth sometimes, dog. Maybe this ain't the lane for you if you're ass. Walk up to me and you rap to me and you suck. I'ma tell you what's up. Uh, hard work <laughs> pays off. I'm living proof of that shit. They saw my freestyle, said I just do this rap shit. Then the project dropped. Fans think the music classic. I didn't say shit. I watched the critics do a backflip. Backflip. Mm. Bombastic. Who gone bash shit? You're too late. I respect my legends, but I don't diss the new wave. This for everyone who say the fan base I'm with is in deep. YouTube rappers do not sell tickets like me. Picture me. Ah. Ooh, see what I'm saying, dog? How he's how he's separating himself from YouTube rap. And this is what I'm saying, like like when I when I when I say that there's YouTube rappers, or like when I categorize somebody as a YouTube rapper, it's because of a certain like a certain style that they sound like. They sound like other rappers on YouTube. But there's people who are on YouTube who are rappers that I don't consider 
YouTube rappers. Token is a clear example of somebody who I wouldn't say necessarily is a YouTube rapper. He just used YouTube to like push his platform because it's free. AK, even though I've only heard that one song from him, I would also say that song is at a quality that is not what I would consider YouTube rap. That song, that song sounds like a rapper who again is pushing his music through YouTube, not necessarily a YouTube rapper whose core demographic is on YouTube, you know? And I know that makes a lot of people's fan base that I consider YouTube rap. I know that makes their fan base a little mad that I say those things, but yo, I call it like I see it. There's a clear difference between someone like Token and someone who I would consider a YouTube rapper. And he said, I respect the legends. I respect the people that came before me, but I don't diss the new wave. Just because the new wave doesn't sound like the old shit doesn't mean that we can't be fucking with both. The new wave will be a pioneer for the new sound in 20 years in the same way that Tupac and Biggie were pioneers for a certain sound for the early and late 2000s. YouTube rappers do not sell tickets like me. Picture me. Uh, little dude from the YouTube. I'll whip your head, boy. You know that I will. I'll whoop your head, boy. With the back of the steel. This song was hard. Rappers do not sell tickets like me. Picture me. Uh, little dork from the YouTube. Uh, to your city showing it more love than you do. Florida, Ooh. California, then Georgia. I flew to, and you're stuck, you poor fuck. My tour bus go room, 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 room. Pay the toes, round the globe where I took the crew. Bus driver was 62, and I make sure he get pussy too. Photos of me at every show. Goosebumps. <laughs> bus driver 62, I make sure that he get pussy too, dog. And again, he's just talking his shit. Like, yo, I, I go everywhere that you've never been, and you call me a YouTube rapper, so be it. Even though we both know that I'm not, I go to your city and get more love than you do. Bus driver was 62, and I make sure he get pussy too. Photos of me at every show, goosebumps when I'm looking through. Every label at my doorstep can't be in the scope, because I'm bulletproof. Mama told me not to trust these bitches. Every label at the door can't be Interscope because I'm bulletproof, dog. Like Interscope, the label that Eminem is signed to, and bulletproof, like I'm in the scope, like literally a, like a sniper scope, dog. Looking through every label at my doorstep can't be in the scope because I'm bulletproof. Mama told me not to trust these bitches, no telling what they wouldn't do. So I gotta put a hat on for the kitty, feeling like a puss in boots. Mama looking at my bank stick. <laughs> gotta put a hat on for the kitty because I'm feeling like I'm puss in boots, dog, like from Shrek. Who, the cat that wears the hat, but he's talking about a condom like a dick hat. Because you can't trust these hoes, dog. It's true. What it do? So I gotta put a hat on for the kitty, feeling like a puss in boots. Mama looking at my bank statements, pray to God that it's put to use. Used to rap about bullying, now I'm showing y'all what a bully do. I'm ah. fucking around. Ah. Ah. Pick hey, it okay. up, pick it up. Can I do some acapella? Yeah, yeah, go, 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 yeah, go, 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 Token. Token. Damn, the bus driver nah. like black girls too. The bus yeah. driver yeah, yeah, yeah. cool. I... The, black, the bus driver be getting pussy too, dog. He be putting everybody on. He said it sounds like you do a little bit of acapella. I'm here for it. Some acapella. 62. Yo. See, I rap like I got it figured out, don't we all? But I could tell you about a few times that I felt lost. I brag about being independent, feeling like a boss. But I'm still worrying if daddy's lights are getting shut off. I know it ain't about the money, it's about the cause. So every day I look in the mirror and I pray I don't see a fraud. Remember I made a song about a school shooting? When it dropped, it went crazy. And I started feeling like a hero when I talked. Then the Parkland school shooting happened. Man, the cops and Emma Gonzalez are the heroes and I'm not. I don't know how to tell y'all. I read the Florida report and I saw that my school shooting video was the last video Cruz ever watched. And that Duh, that's fucking heavy. I didn't tell y'all, but the last the last video that the dude who shot up the school, my video was the last one that 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 the school shooter ever watched. Imagine the burden. You imagine the fucking like literally the weight of all those deaths on Token's mind because he thinks he directly contributed to that school shooting. Yo. Video was the last video Cruz ever watched, and that shit make you wonder what purpose do you lack. People died, I'm having flashbacks that I never had I put my truth into a project, but that one I couldn't grasp Between somewhere, what I called it, somewhere, I don't know Between somewhere, doing freestyles and brag about a couple flows That pour in my heart on a project they don't even own Between somewhere out in New York, living my dream, I've been told Sway, thank you for having me back on the show Token Yeah Could you imagine, bro? See, like that's the, I, I don't honestly, I was feeling hyped the entire time, but now I'm like, damn, could you imagine the burden that this dude is living with? At the end of this right here, he just made it sound like he is part of the reason for the school shooting. 
and and everybody loved that track. That track got hella notoriety, hella play, hella, hella fucking views on YouTube. Dude's got PTSD, got flashbacks from something that he don't even know if he caused, but he feels like he might have been the last fucking straw that broke the camel's back for that to go and happen. <sighs> yeah. Now I understand, first off, why y'all said why this was highly requested, because this was fire on top of those iconic, iconic 50 Cent beats. He was on his braggadocious shit. He was on his conscious shit. He was on his I got it from the dirt, so don't ever say that I didn't type shit. He was on his I'm not a YouTube rapper type shit, because he's not. And then he ended it with that right there, bro. Just speechless, son. Speechless. But yo. That brings us to the end of this video, ladies and gentlemen. If you like what you see, please consider liking the video, leaving a comment down below. If you like what you see enough, please consider subscribing. This is all freestyle week. This is probably number two or three on the freestyle week and there's more freestyles to come. So if you wanna see these freestyles broken down, hit the subscribe and notification bell. Follow your boy on Instagram and on Twitter at the third earnest, just like the channel. The links are down in the description below. Hit up the discord also down in the description below. If you get enough entertainment out of this and you think you're in a monetary capable position to be able to potentially throw some dollars my way in order to in order to get some extra content and support the channel check out the patreon first link down in the description patreon is the only reason why i'm able to do this full time for y'all guys and i really appreciate all all support that i get over there but that's really all that i gotta say ladies and gentlemen i appreciate your time and like they say at the very end of all of my videos go out there in the world love and care for one another love and care for each other and i'll catch everybody on the next video peace